Live stream to begin shortly. 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 Brothers and sisters coming from his studio located in the great state of Texas, the undeniable, irresistible, bearded Mike Slinger, the hardworking man himself. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, boy, what's going on here? My phone's falling apart, yo! Hey, good morning, yo! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all keep it up, keep it up, baby. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Oh, good morning, y'all. Welcome to my little... I just was online just now, and everything fell apart on me. It all just came loose. And so, thank you for coming in. My name is Lynn Wicking. Bring that down, Freddy. Freddy, bring that down. Let me fix my camera. Freddy, bring that down for me, brother. It's a little bit too loud. It's a little bit too loud. Good morning, y'all. My name is Linwood King. I'm here in San Antonio, Texas, and it is a nice, cool six to six degrees outside. It feels good, y'all. Good Thursday. So I came on earlier, and I had some technical problems. My my internet was messed up, but I'm, I'm glad to be back, y'all. It's good to be back. I hope you're having an awesome time, an awesome morning. I know it's early. The problem with me is I get too excited in the mornings. My wife knows this, and she don't like it. She tells me... You got to stop being so excited, honey. And I get up smiling and I'm like, good morning. What's going on, kids? And my kids are like, get away from me, daddy. And then I walk up to him. I go, hey, bud, let daddy get you dressed. No, I want mommy. And then I go to my daughter, Naomi, let daddy get you. No, I want mommy. And there's mommy all wore out. And I'm trying to help her. And the kids don't want me to help them. And then instead of, instead of her going, you let daddy help you, she sits there and she just does it. And I feel bad. Of course, but then I start to step up. Hey, let me do it. And then she, 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 I get in there, I start to do it. And then she just push me out the way. Let me do it. I'll do it. She'll just get in there and do it for me. And I feel, I feel terrible. I try and tell her, I'll do it. I'll do it. Let daddy help. And it did, don't happen. Anyhow. My name is Linwood Presley King. I'm from San Antonio, Texas. I play in a rock and roll band called The Heroin, which you probably never heard before. I do some solo stuff. I just released a new song on Spotify and on all platforms. If you get a chance, go listen to it. It's an acoustic song that I recorded here in my studio on my iPhone. I just went and started recording this song, and then I said, you know what? I'm going to release it, and I released it. It's out there. It's out there on the Internet. But y'all, thanks for being here with me. I wanted to get on here before I take I got to go to work today. I got a lot of work I got to get done. And I'm fixing to leave, and there's just so much to do, so much to talk about. There's a lot of craziness going on in the world today, and and uh, I got I got to say this: I am I am not on the right, and I'm not on the left. I'm kind of in the middle, and so when I see craziness go around on either side, it, it makes me a little bit disappointed because I. I don't want to see all this chaos, but at the same time, I know black and white, right and wrong, and I'm like, what's going on here, people? Y'all, y'all making me crazy, and the world's falling apart. Oh, I just need Jesus in my life, baby. <laughs> Woo! That's my little. That's my little laser. I just got that laser too, y'all. Then I got this one. That's the one I use whenever action scene slow motion. Sounds like a little alien, to be honest with you. I like this one too. I like that one too. So this week there's a, a lot going on here at my house. You know, my, my wife has been busy with the kids. The Easter was, you know, Resurrection Sunday was on Sunday and it was a good service at church. Uh, I didn't go to my normal church, the, the church I'm a member of. I went to visit a friend of mine's church. He invited me to come by, and I wanted to come by and support him and play, play a song for him. He asked me to play a song, so I wrote a song, and I played it for him, and it was cool. It, it worked out. It was a fun, 
it was a fun day, man. It was fun. But I want to, I want to just kind of get into this, uh, get into this, this little mode of encouraging you guys. I'm gonna get in the encouragement, Linwood, right here coming out. So, uh, I mean, I, I'm sure y'all have heard different people talk about stepping out in faith. You know, stepping out, and taking risk, and uh, trying things that you're afraid to try. And, you know, you may have a, a desire to do something, but you just don't do it because you, you're, you're, you're getting held back by something. Maybe it's yourself. It's your confidence level. You're not confident about what you're going to do. And um, I wanted to tell you, I wanted to tell you something. I'm going to tell you it's true. If you ever listen to Steve Harvey talk about that little thing where he talks about jumping, you got to jump. You got to step out. And here's here's the thing. I'm a I'm a recording artist. I'm a musician. I'm a um, I think of myself as a music minister, a minister of music. I I I, I perform music and I, I love doing it. But at the same time, I have a sense of fear in me whenever I do performances, especially if, if I'm alone. Like it took a long time just for me to get on TikTok and then feel comfortable getting my gear set up and getting you know making it sound decent. But you, you get me an acoustic guitar and you tell me, hey, I want you to perform an acoustic song in front of five people. I get all tensed up. My body gets all, I get nervous. My palms get sweaty. And I got mom spaghetti on my shirt, something like that. I, I, do, I, get, I tend to get a little nervous. Now, performing with the heroin, I have no problem getting on stage in front of 5,000 people with my band, The Heroin, and getting out there and rocking it. And I have no problem with it. There's no problem. I can get on there every day, all day long, and do that. No problem. But you ask me to sing one song in a church in front of 20 people or 30, 40 people, I get really nervous. I start, in a, in a sense, I get kind of like scared, because I know, I know you, you do it for the Lord, right? You're doing it for, oh, you do it for the Lord, brother. The Lord knows your heart. But at the same time, there's this fear of being alone on stage with just your acoustic guitar or by yourself. And I did that last week. I, I, I worked on a new song because when, when my friend called me and asked me to play, I wrote a new song. And I have a scrape of sanity about myself. I, I do. Actually, I do, brother. Thank you for asking, though. I appreciate that. And so I, um, I, I, I wrote this new song about the resurrection of Jesus, right? I wrote a song about Jesus. About the resurrection. And... I wrote it on Friday. I was in here till around, I don't know, maybe 12.31 in the morning. Wrote the song here. And then I practiced it on Saturday. I was working on it all day Saturday. I had a show on Saturday, but I was practicing it. And Sunday came, and it was time to sing the song. And I was, I was very nervous. I told my wife, I was, I'm so nervous about this. And um, so uh, I get out there, and it's time to play. And I stepped out there, and it, it just went as good as... Uh, it, uh, you can stop now. You can stop now. It went, it went great. I went out there, and I, I did it, and it was... It went, I don't know if it could have gone any better. It went really well. But I want to encourage you. You have to step out and do the things you're afraid to do. That's part of growing as a person and growing as a, a business person, growing as an individual that has dreams and uh, whatever you're aspiring to do in life. You have to step out and step out in that fear of, you know, you're going to be afraid, man. It's going to suck sometimes. You're going to be scared to get out and try something new. But if you step out in confidence and you attack it, with confidence, I believe you're going to do it. I believe you can get 
you can get through or go to the next level that you're trying to get to if you have the confidence in you to do it. My confidence comes from God, man. I, I pray and I, I, I love the Lord. And I, I ain't new to loving the Lord. I've been loving the Lord since I was 17 years old when I got saved. I, I got saved at 17. And that's been a big, a big thing for me. That's a big thing that's brought me a lot of success, I, I believe, is my faith in God. And um, the second thing is uh, confidence in my time spent working on my craft, uh, practicing and rehearsing and then getting out there and getting doing it in front of people it takes practice and it takes getting the experience and making the mistakes and getting better and finding out what you got to work on and improve yourself that's what's going to get you to the next level staying at home thinking about it praying on it just waiting ain't going to do it. Ain't gonna, it's not going to do it. You have to step out and just get out there and, and attack whatever you're trying to accomplish. There's been situations I've been, I've been in. And, uh, of course, if you do know me, which I'm sure maybe one of y'all who are watching, one of the two of y'all. If you do know me, I have a couple of businesses. I, I, I'm, I'm, a skilled, I'm a skilled musician. And I'm also a skilled carpenter. I, I can I do things for my wife around the house. I, I I I put I know how to do all kinds. I can put a door in. I can put windows. I can I can do it. I can hang up cabinets. I can do trim work. I'm a skilled carpenter. I'm good at it. And uh, but I wasn't always skilled. I didn't know what I was doing. A lot of times I would have to just walk into something and say this has to get done, and I'd get it done. But it wouldn't happen unless you stepped out in faith and you did it in faith, saying, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get this done. That's what it takes is the faith and the confidence. The faith and the confidence. And that confidence, you got to have faith. And when you have faith in God or I have faith in Jesus Christ and I know and I have the faith in him, it gives me confidence to step out. And do the things I want to do. That's how it works for me. That's how, and that's how it should work for you. That's what, that's that's how that's how it can work for you. But you got to step out in the faith and in confidence. That, that's a long one. I got that. No, I got this. I downloaded this one right here because I. I was thinking of the Mexican shows, the Mexican radio shows where they're like, ole! but I, I couldn't find the right one. So I just used that one. But anyhow, all right, y'all. Good, good Thursday. I, I wasn't going to be on here long anyhow, but I wanted to tell y'all stay motivated. Trust God. Do the right thing. Live for Jesus and practice and get out there and do your thing. That's it. Brothers Get and out sisters, there and do your thank thing. you for joining us. All right, y'all. God bless you. Time. All two of y'all. Share my page and follow me if you're not already. God bless you. Oh!